Oh, look at this. This is, <laughs> this is cool. Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. Back to RimWorld 1.0. So I've been playing around a few different mods. So I thought I wanted to start a new series with a mixture of different mods. Um, it's not going to be daily uploads for this. It might be like one video a week, depending on how well you all like the series. So I've got a few uh, mods here that I thought might play nicely together. So... We've got my, I do like using this mod manager now. It makes it so easy to add and remove uh, mods and switch them in and out. Right, so we've got better spike traps, which is uh, just changes to make spike traps more useful. Apparently you can add the the old spike traps like that again. Uh, while you're up is a, um, a mod, which I think the summary was, before starting jobs, your colonists will look for nearby objects that need to be hauled someplace uh, near wherever they're going if they can haul something useful without going out of their way they'll do it even if hauling is a low priority task nice survival add-ons this adds new features for primitive and tribal playthroughs and the reason for that you'll see in a bit uh, we've got survival tools which um, adds tools and the need to manage tools for RimWorld colonists work much less efficiently in certain tasks without the tools colonists can use tools from their inventory as well as their main hands and you acquire tools through production, purchase, and plunder. Uh, different materials affect tools in different ways, and tools are degrade over use. Uh, oh, uh, statues of colonists. Uh, finally, we can uh, you can make statues of the colonists, which I always thought was a little bit weird that you couldn't do that, but now you can. Uh, sometimes raids go wrong. Uh, ever wished a raid would go horribly wrong? This mod allows storytellers to add a random and sometimes hilarious twist to a raid. So. Uh, they get a roll of the dice, and there's different outcomes here. So, say for instance, if they're on a roll of three, meteorites fall from the sky and strike randomly near the raiders. Uh, on a roll of five to twenty, the raid goes ahead normally. On a raid of one, they're infected with military mechanites, which often cause similar to rapid aging. <laughs> if you capture prisoners from the raid, the progress of the mechanites can be halted with good medicine. Uh, so that sounds pretty interesting. Spark speed is something I've started using all the time, which um, Let's you speed up the game even more, which is really good to get through those lonely nights. Uh, Rim Cuisine is a mod that adds a number of new crops, wild plants, and food. Uh, rim Washes. Rain and snow will wash away... The, I think rain. It did say snow, but I think it's just rain washes away the filth. Nice. Uh, psychology. Uh, this seems to be quite a big mod. So this is... Uh, Lots of people are raving about this mod, um, and it's a overhaul of RimWorld psychological and social systems. Your colonists and the stories you can tell about them are what make RimWorld such a fun game. Um, so this seems to expand the tour a lot on the mental and psych for people. Okay, prisoner capture and manipulation. So do you like taking prisoners? Uh, do you like waking them wish they never crossed your path? Well, this mod's for you, and it adds a cattle prod. It's a designed to knock people down, so and a stun gun. Uh, also, entangle a new um, possible uh, thing caused by Bolas that temporarily heavily weakens movement and manipulation. Yes, uh, mine at all lets you strip mine. Men's hair adds some different hair types. Uh, let's trade adds more traders. Interaction bubbles uh, adds little speech bubbles ac across uh, above the colonists. That sounds quite good. Uh, fishing nets lets you fish. Uh, field medic lets you um, field on the in, in the wild without having to hold them back to the base. And fantasy goblins. This is one I was quite interested in. Uh, adds a race of sly and conniving goblins. While weak, they are more than wake up for it with their productivity and intellect. And we've also got doormat. And I've got everyone's favourite, real ruins. And we're going to play that in a series while I can because apparently. Um, does i think i have read some people saying it is costing quite a lot of server cost for that so play that while you can because uh i don't know if there's any free hosting for this or if there's any way for us to host the server ourselves i don't know anyway new colony okay and we're gonna play goblin survivors so we start with five people and we can choose from eight so let's go ahead and do that and we're gonna play randy random we're just gonna do medium reload anytime click next and our seed is going to be uh, Donga's Generate Our World. Okay, it's not bad. That's four minutes of me waffling about mods, and we should be able to get a nice little amount of gameplay now. Okay, so where do we want to go? 
So, we are goblins. Where would goblins live? Hmm. Oh, cool. There's like a little, uh, a little pond area there. That's sort of a almost familiar shape. Um, do I want to go somewhere like that? Babe? <laughs> Babe Forest. I think goblins would probably live in, in somewhere called Babe Forest, wouldn't they? Uh, Stone Road. Do I, do I want to try and live near a river? This is all flat, though. Hmm. We're still going to have trees, though, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to have trees here. It's going to be flat. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try this here. It's um, year-round growing. It's not going to be too hot in summer. And it's a forest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, this is good. Now, the only, the only mod I've just realised I have not added, I'll probably add that uh, to another video, is Camera Plus. I do like that mod so I can zoom in. Right, you can't do labour. You're incapable of none. You've got malnutrition now. You've got malnutrition as well. You can't do social. Uh, any Are any of these amazing? Now, oh, that one, he seems like a pretty... He seems like a leader, doesn't he? Look, melee 15, and he's got animals 15. Okay. Um, let's try and switch you out. Let's get rid of Gundu and replace him with Omcard. So, Omcard, switch out Gundu. Okay. I think that'll do. Mm, did I pick you up then? Where's he gone? Wait a minute. I'm confused. That's... Oh, it's Chark I was meant to switch you now. Right, so Chark. Yeah, Chark will keep in you. So you can't do social. What are you good at, though? Good at melee, all right at mining. Underground the traits. Yeah, I think, that's, I think that'll do. Yeah. And bear in mind as well, if you do want to be named in this series, I'm going to name people from people that comment. So get comments in and you can be in the game if you want to or not. You'll probably die within an episode or two, but at least you'll see your name in lights. So we're going to generate our map. And then off we go. Okay. Psychology mob, built-in performance benchmasting. Oh. Um, ooh. You can go to the mod settings and toggle in enable performance reporting. Okay, that's something for me to uh, note later on. Oh, now, after a harrowing journey on foot with no close friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness. Here we are. Have I started? No. I thought I'd started with muffalos. I was going to say... That is the best start ever. Right. We've got some uh, various types of food here. Uh, let's get all the food. We've got our little goblin steel spears here. Right. Let's get these equipped. So, Chark, you are the one that's really good at um, hitting things. So, what should we give you? Um, we'll give you a spear, I think. Let's give you a spear. There you go. Uh, Omkrad, are you any good at hitting things? 11, not bad. Right, so we start need to look at people that are good at shooting now. Um, Jumunju, not really that good. Um, Versen's not bad at it. Let's give him a bow and Jabungu, whatever your name is. Let's give you a goblin bow. Okay, they are all feasting. Right, let's give you a spare... Weapon, because you've not got one. And then we'll have a little look at our area. Ooh. So, we've started off with some uh, bare resources near us. So, we've got like a... Ooh, now, we have got... Have we got the ability to do fishing from the start? And what do we need to do it? So, we need cloth. Hmm. We need cloth and we need wood. We can also do a mud pit, which is something maybe we will use later on. I don't have a clue what we use it in. Let's have a little look. Can we do mud walls? We can do goblin stone walls, which I need granite for that. Um, I can do shelter, which is wood. We can do a mud wall. That might be a little fun thing for us to do. Now, do these have to be near water? I don't think so. Right, so there's water over there. We've got the big river in the middle. Oh, look at this. This is, <laughs> this is cool. So we've got the real ruins uh, mod. And it's already added. 
a little bit of a base. I put the seed thing on really low so it doesn't add an overpowered thing. And there you go. We've got a geothermal <laughs> generator. So I guess we're going to go and set up camp over here. Um, we're not that near the water, but heck, we're going to go over here. Right. Let us get myself a little zone put up in here. Let's get some production going. So I'm going to try for a change. Let's try mud. Um, let's get a mud. Oh, it's bad temperature. Hmm. We'll do that there. We just want a couple of these. Okay, let's make sure we've got loads of people can haul. Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. Right, Chark, I don't want you being a, uh, a hunter anyway. It's Versen and Jibungu are going to be our hunters. Okay, you all get hauling. Nice. I do like the hair on that one. Look at Reg. Reg has got the, the best hair ever. Okay. Chark, can you... Okay, you can't do construction. How many can do construction? We'll stick all the people that have got a little trait in it on construction. I'm going to make this. I'm going to make us some uh, mud bricks. There we go. Let's add a task. Add bill. Make mud. Do until you've got X. And let's bump that up to say... Let's do 100 on each of these. We've got a couple that can do crafting as well. Which is good. Repairing our geothermal. Ah, oh, it's so... That is such a good thing to start off a series with. Right, so we're going to do the same on here. Make mud. Uh, do X until, do until you've got X. And then we're going to add that to 100 as well. Okay. Make me some mud. I want to see what the attributes are of a mud wall. It might be, like, really terrible. Oh, here we go. A lot of talking. Jabungu waved at verse mech. That's pretty cool. That is, I, I do like that. Um, that's broken down, so we do need to get some components for that to fix it. Now, interestingly enough, we've not got the technology to, to uh, use that yet, so it's going to be interesting if I can actually use that. Let's get these components mined down there. We might have to just keep it um, keep it safe until we, we can use it. Right, so we've got mud walls now. So let's get some... Uh, ooh, now let's put the walls there. And do a goblin door. Okay, let's cancel that bit. Cancel that bit. Do the goblin door here. There we go. Now, mud wall is only 10. So you know what I'm going to do? Right from the start, I'm going to um, make us some... Uh, goblin rooms. So... Let's do these right down, right down here like this. Um, mm, mm. Now later, l later on, um, I'll probably uh, move all these round. I, I never get round to doing this. I always say I will. I never do. that little bit of rock out there because you do not like having bits in the rooms like that. Um, that's two rooms. So let's put a door on there. Door on there. Get all this stuff built. Okay, what are you doing? How many people have we got mining? Um, there's only one mark assigned to mine in, so we'll get another one on the job. The mud does get used quite quickly, though. That's going to take a little while. Reg struck up a conversation with Versamech. Reg commented piffily on believing in oneself with Versamech. Okay, a little bit of mining going on there. So how many hit points have these got? So a mud wall has got hit points of 170. So it might be, as an experiment, good to build some uh, normal walls. Let's have a little look at this. So they have got less hit points, but I think the advantage is uh, mud isn't going to catch fire, but will it deteriorate? Hmm. I do not know. All right, let's do this all as wood. Um, 
So we want it down here. Just to mirror this uh, layout here. I'm just going to be really lazy and just copy the layout completely. Uh, so we need five bedrooms. So we do need another bedroom. That isn't really big enough. Hmm. Might be okay. We could just do it like this and have the door over here to the side like that. Um, maybe I should dig it out a little bit just so we've not got the stone in the room. Um, and seal it up as well. Okay. Do need more wood though. We've not really got a huge amount of wood. So, right. So we've got some of the new mining tools here. So we've got vein miner, strip mining tool, mine brush tool. Ooh, they should help. Uh, we want chop wood. So let's get some of these trees chopped down that are right near the base. And we need nom noms. So let's get some uh, food put down. Let's do some five by five resource areas. I think I just did five by six then. Okay, so what new crops have we got now? So we'll put rice in the bigger one. So we've got some new ones now. We've got moonshade ink cap. We've got oat. We've got smoke leaf. We've got turnips. What's a turnip do? Hardy root with edible leaves. Requires good soil, but is able to grow in lower temperature. Hmm. Try some of them. Uh, what else have we got? We've got barley. What can we do with that? Main ingredient for beer. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to be using that. So we've got cabbages and something called jute. Ooh, so that's used for making burlap cloth or animal fields. That's quite interesting. All right, we're going to have rice, turnips, and cabbages. And that'll do for all of them. I think we've managed to repair our thing as well. Yeah. Now, if you look at the power output on this now, we've not actually got any, any devices that can utilize the power. So we do need to... Uh, yeah, we need like a little a little production area, don't we? That would help out uh, immensely. Um, did, I think it said we had a penalty for building outside as well, so maybe I should do like a little goblin. Um, let's do a little uh, production room over here. Have it enclosed as well. This is going to be our little goblin workshop over here. So I'm going to put little uh, wooden goblin door on there and we're going to put a mud a couple of mud pits in here and let's try some cooking as well the goblins don't care about health and hygiene we're gonna have the butcher spot right next to the uh the cleaning spot and we're gonna have a couple of crafting spots okay come on goblins do your worst there you go Get that now built. Right, we've got some really terrible miners by the look of it. Now we have got the ultra speed now as well. Look, we can go really fast. Right, let's just do mate mud. And we're going to add a task to all of these. Mate mud. Just add to 10 on all of these. Mate mud. Right, we're not. We're going to put uh, manual priorities on as well because I want crafting done. Right, the, the trouble with the crafting at the moment, you've got an interest in crafting, so you need to stay doing that. You've also got an interest in mining. Let's put you on two mining. Um, no one else really has got an interest in that. You've got an interest in mining, so let's put you on number one mining. I do need some more mud and stuff done at the moment so you can do that and these need to do number one hunting as well okay let's try and get some food then so we have got not a lot of food at the moment so we're going to hunt some of these and we're going to get the butchering spot we're going to do butcher creature and do forever now we've got a cooking spot we can make sugar, we can make flour, we can make nectar. Okay, that's none of the things I want. I need uh, either a smoker or a charcoal pit. Hmm. We've got a crafting table. We're going to stick one of them down. See what we can make with that. 
Um, research table as well. We do need one of them. Right, let's, let's get a grill put down. We'll have a couple of them. Um, we've not got an awful lot of steel at the moment, so what we're going to do, let's try this uh, strip miner. So we've got the vein miner. Click on that. It is a bit of a cheat the way it tells you everything, but it makes it so much easier. Okay, let's try and get the rest of this stuff done, because we've not got any beds at the moment. We might have to all sleep inside for the start. So, let us get our sleeping spot in here. Also, Goblin needs a bit of joy, so we've got some new things we've got. <laughs> that is so good. That is worth me starting a new series. We've got a wrestling pit. So apparently we've got a wrestling pit and the goblins can wrestle in it. That is going to be funny. We've also got a few rec standard recreations. We've got the wooden hoop stones. We've got the, the other board game there. And we've also got a tribal drum. I'm going to add that. That is a lot of stuff for us to do. Uh, plank cutting. Let's get someone plank cutting. Reg, where are you? How typical Reg is doing the, the, the tree cutting with his pink, his pink hairdo. He's eating moonshade soup though. Right, I'm going to get me some wood. Right, the mud is coming along nicely now. Right, we need someone to do a bit of construction. Um, let's put you as a two on that. Um, who else can do construction? No one's really do, no one else is really doing construction at the moment. Okay, these are all going to bed anyway. Alright, go on. Sleep. There you go. What a motley bunch these all look. <laughs> they, 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 they do look. They do look. I can't I don't think I've played a goblin mod before for this game, which just makes you think, well, why has there not been a goblin mod before? Right, have we got any fiendish goblin security at the moment? Right, so we've got a snare trap. That lets you catch animals. That might be a, a good little thing to just, like, stick a few of these around the map. Maybe we can catch something. Spiked barricade. And we have got spike traps as well, so... Hmm, we do need a lot more resources, though, to use a lot of these. Also, we need... Uh, we've not got any animal sleeping spots yet. We have got a few animals. We've got a Labrador, a cat, and a husky. Let's get the two dogs trained in the art of uh, hauling. And the cat... The cat... Is the cat bonded with anyone? The cat's not got a... a yeah. We're goblins. We don't care for cats. It's going to eat all my food. We're going to keep the animals, though. Well, the, the dogs. We'll keep those, definitely. Going to make our rooms up now. I wonder where the middle... Where's the middle, um... Door gone from here? Definitely... Pretty sure a scheduled one. Alright, there we go. Try that again. Alright, so we're getting our steel from up there. Getting our wood as well. We're getting our mud. Chunks of spaceship have fallen down nearby. Yes. We'll have all of that. Okay. The miners are having a busy old time there. Finally managed to do the roof now. Right. So what goblin beds have we got? We need... What do goblins sleep on? Hmm. Nothing really that goblin-y. There's... Um, Goblin mud table. That would do for the eating, wouldn't it? We've also got the bed rolls. And have we got standard beds, though? Oh, I'd really like a proper bed. Yeah, we're going to have to have normal beds. That sucks, really. Right, while I'm thinking about it, I would like to get a bit of uh, research done, so... Maybe I should be getting... Uh, this could be the research in here. Yeah, let's get a research bench down and start getting research done. Okay, you keep making me mud. I mean, we've not really got that much of a need for all this steel at the moment. So we are we are mining all of this. So I 
think what we're going to do, we're going to cancel all of that. Let's just get a little bit of it. There you go. I'd, I'd much rather all the, the building gets done first, to be honest. Okay, let's get all these uh, bits finished off and get the beds done. Okay, I take it we've run out of wood again, so we're gonna, uh, gonna mine me some wood. I need loads of wood. Let's just get all of that wood. Okay, it's time to get the research done. I think we'll do furniture first. Try and get some decent beds. More mud. Definitely stuff getting chopped down. Ooh, starvation. That's not good. Right, how's the uh, the hunting coming on then? Because I did, I did tag a few things to be uh, hunted. Right, so we've got rats and all sorts of things at the moment. Rats, squirrels. What should we go for? Um, let's hunt a few turkeys, I think. Let's get a few turkeys. See if we can uh, get these to do some hunting. Okay, these are off doing hunting. Hunting me a turkey. I'd like to take a muffalo. I'm still unsure about taking a muffalo on with uh, the guns I've got at the moment. Ancient danger. Where? Ooh. Derby centipedes. Actually, do you know what we'll do? I know it's a bit cheaty, but let's get both of them hunting the same animal. Come on. Come on. Who's going to hit it? <laughs> Neither of you. Ah, oh, they're so bad at shooting. Right, you go nearer. Get right over here. I think that was a hit then. Yeah, you definitely hit it. Come on. You are literally next to it. There we go. Well, at least you managed to do that. Are you going to haul that? Right, we've not got a space for uh, storing the bodies yet. So let's do a little uh, dumping stockpile just over here, just for the corpses. So go in storage, clear all, corpses, animal. Let's switch back to you. Um, and do haul. There you go. Hopefully you're going to manage to uh, get some sweet shots on that. I've got a mega sloth there we could try and hunt, but I'll take it a little bit safe at the start. Okay, now we need an expert chef, so that's going to be Reg. So he's a, a tree chopper and also a cook. And those are two professions that go hand in hand. Okay, let's go and butcher this. Right, someone needs to go and quickly make this um, cooking thing here. Let's uh, get this built. This is what we needed the steel for. Okay, then we're going to... We do need a little bit of a um, stockpile room in here, I guess. So, let's do that. And we're going to allow uh, meat... And do we want to allow meals as well, I guess? Um, so we want food. I want um, meat. Let's do raw ingredients. Okay. Can you haul that there? Nope. You want to eat it. Right. Let's uh, disallow you from doing that then for now. Oh, I can hear the sweet sound of that. Right, can you build that? No, you're not assigned to constructing. Right, let's get Reg to build the, uh, his own grill. Build this up, and then you can make a few meals. Well, maybe one or two. 
not an awful lot of uh, meat you can use at the moment. Okay, let's go to this, do bill, and we're going to grill me some meat. So we're going to grill meat. I wonder why we can only do it as two. What's the difference? Prepares two grilled meals. Hmm. Let's do that. And let's do that. Okay, it needs... Oh, it needs charcoal. This is why we had to build the uh, the charcoal pit. Oh, that's going to be a bit sucky. Um, I've got to build that on um, a grassy thing. Can I do it inside? Do I want to build it inside? Right, we need to make the charcoal pit. Okay. Right, you need to make me some charcoal. Okay, so this is going to give me uh, charcoal from the wood. It does take a while to actually produce, so I think I'm just going to have to let these uh, eat, the, <laughs> eat the stuff naturally. Well, that sucks. Right, let's chop some more wood. I think everyone's actually gone to bed apart from Reg. That's a bit, uh, bit awkward. Reggie's going to go and disturb them all now. Let's hunt that as well, get some more meat. So we've got our new camp crafting table now, so we can make some more stuff in here. We can make a turnip salad, cabbage salad, vegetables, pickle turnip and pickle cabbage. Um, we've got our crop fields are growing there, but we've not got a dedicated grower at the moment, so... I think some of these are going to have to uh, pitch in with uh, growing. Let's get a couple of them on the go. Let's get research on number one. Let's actually choose our first research tab as well. So, what do we want? Do I want cooking or I want I want sleeping there uh, things. So, let us try. Um, would it be complex furniture? Let's try that. Okay. Everyone's gone to sleep. And we do need defences. I do agree. We do need defences. Okay. Get some stuff put down now. Cargo pods. Please be food. Oh, we've got nectar. What is that? Processed sweetener. Okay. You can, also, you can make tequila from it. Ooh, we've got some mushrooms over here. Some shrooms. Let's, let's harvest them. We've also got different types of trees. That's nearly ready, I think. I think we could get away with harvesting that. Let's harvest all of them and get some berries. That's it. You keep, you keep hunting that. There we go. Right, Reg is currently asleep, so all this meat is just going to go a little bit wasted. But Reg does need his beauty sleep. Okay, Reg is up. Right, have we got any charcoal yet? Contains 75 charcoal. Okay, that seems to uh, go pretty quick. Right, we do need charcoal. Right, let's get the charcoal from the pit. There we go. Nice. Now we should be able to grill some meals. Nice. I'm making a few little meals now. They are going as quick as I make them. How, what's the lifespan on these? Four, do four days. That's not bad. At least we've got a little supply of uh, meals now. We're going to have to keep on top of the charcoal, though. Okay, it's only 25 wood. We're making some more, though. That's good. Okay, so we do need wood for the walls. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't really laugh, but we've just... Uh, yeah, tiddles is no more. Right. Omkar is doing the research now. And we're going to have to sort out the... Uh, I see in trouble uh, with research. They do tend to go to bed later than the rest of them. So, yeah, that does have a little bit of a knock-on effect. Um, we've got a few things we need to finish. We need to finish building the uh, wrestling pit. Uh, we need to research the individual beds. Get them done. We could actually move these into all the different rooms now. Um... I could literally just deconstruct all of them. We're going to wait till everyone gets up and then deconstruct them. Right. 
Let's do some randomised names. So let's do five, four, three, two, one. We are the Blue Shrew. No, I'm never going to remember that. Um, what should my sh my sh the Kanzo pit's pretty cool. Yeah, let's keep that. Let's keep that. Right, everyone apart from Omzard is up. Because he was up late researching. Okay. Let's sort out these beds. So we're going to get rid of all these. And then we are going to give you... Ooh. Now we have got some materials. We can make a plain leather sleeping spot. We've got enough for one of those. So you can have that. The rest of them all are all going to have bog standard rooms like this. There we go. We've got some wheat in there as well. They all need to get proper floors as well. So that's another thing I need to uh, work on. I think this is all uh, mud we need at the moment. So this is going to take a while to build, but it will it will get done. We've got it set to 100 mud, I believe, so maybe we need to do it a little bit higher. Let's do a little bit higher. Let's do it to, say, 200. And same for you. So we've got a little, little supply of it. Okay. We probably need to make someone uh, doing construction as well. So you quite like it. Busamek. Where are you? Let's get you constructing. Okay, we've got a mad rat. Let's hunt you. And actually, you're uh you're retreating. Alright, I don't know where you are, but let's put them all goblins wouldn't run away, so we're all gonna go and uh try and take on this fearsome rat come on come on horde take it on come on <laughs> yes the goblin horde fears no rats right make sure these are not drafted because this should be doing other stuff and they are the building goblin is off look at him go Gonna have to try and keep up with that mud for you, Sonny Jim. Uh, the stockpile looks like it's getting pretty full in here as well, so let's expand it a little bit. Uh, we've, have we not really got anyone hauling at the moment? Mm, not really. Uh, growing and hauling. Let's get a couple of haulers on the go. Try and help out a little bit. Okay. Try and get these uh, rooms all done, and then that will do us. Need a little bit more uh, building done there. He's got a lot of stuff to finish, though. Yeah, he's got he's got all this to do. Everyone's left these half-built buildings for him. Okay, are you going for more wood? I think you are. I'm going to try and keep um, a supply of uh, meals. Let's get that little animal hunted. Nice. Looks like they're having a bit of... Is, is, are we going to have a bit of a wrestle? Mm, not really wrestling at the moment. Reg has had enough. Reg, <laughs> Reg has just gone to bed. All right, let's deliver materials to this wall so we can finish that wall. You you would you would try and wake him up, wouldn't you? Right, so on the clips, still not built our uh, rooms here properly yet, though. We should be able to do that, but just no one's actually done it at the moment. Let's speed this up. I want to get these rooms done at least. That'll be our one and only thing that we need to do. Uh, I think we've got enough wood. We should have enough mud as well, so this should be pretty. A quick and easy thing to do. Right, let's keep an eye on the builder. Where's he going? Where is he? There we go. 
nice. Getting all these rooms finished. Getting the roofs up. Nice. People aren't going to be sleeping outside anymore, which is good. And there's a nice bed in there. Okay. I think that's all the um, the roofs done now. Oh, yeah, you were building the little snare trap, weren't you? That's cool. That's such a cool little thing. Okay, I'm going to finish this little uh, room here off. This is all undercover now. And we do need more food, though. We've not really got a huge amount of uh, meals at the moment. Uh, granted, it only lasts like four days, so that's not going to last forever. Who's starving? Why are you starving? Shouldn't we have more meals? Right, let's look at the wildlife for a second. Right, we've got a muffalo. We've got a raccoon. Yeah, let's get a few of these uh, rams hunted. There you go. There goes the hunters. Go on. Get me some... Uh, get me some food. But it's not an ultra time. It's like the fire and the machine gun. Ooh, we've got a meteorite. Um, it's got a lump of plasteel in it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why did we never spot this before? Look. There's a structure here. Oh, wow. I did not... I literally... I honestly did not spot that. Right, that's going to be good to mine. But look at this. We've got... Um, we've got stuff here. We can claim all of this. So, if we claim all of this stuff... That could be mine. I could have that inside my base. We've got a nice bed. Well, a better bed. Better than what we've got. We could just reinstall that in here. There you go. It's a bit swaggy. Uh, we could have a wooden dresser, though. That'll be a little bit better to have in someone's room. So, you can have that. And what was the other item? A wooden end table. Ooh, mer it says I can make a, a mare. Mer you can assign this room to be used as your mare's office. What? I've not even got a mare yet, but that sounds amazing. Uh, and we've also got this as well, which is a comfy couch. So I guess that needs to be in a communal area. Let's stick that in there. I did spot something else up the river as well. Hold the press. We've got a lamp. We've got a chessboard. We've got a heater. Right, I'm having all this as well. Let's uh, claim, 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 claim. We can't really use the um, standing lamp yet, though, but we can reinstall it in someone's room when we can use it. Same with the chessboard. We'll have that. And do you know what we need to build? I'm going to build... This is going to be a long video. Sorry about that. Um, one thing we need to do is a recreational area. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick structure. We're going to do a mud wall room. And this is going to be our place where people come to eat. So let's do it a fairly biggish room. Like this. And they're going to have to come outside to get into it though. But um, what's cancel? Cancel, cancel, cancel. No, 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 no. That was a, that was a mistake. <laughs> right, we were meant to do... Right, let's try again. And press C for cancel. There we go. Oh, copy. Right, so we can do a mud table, I believe. Didn't I see a mud table? Uh, one by one. So these are only little eating areas so we can do like uh, a thing of five in here and just stick some little simple chairs down here so they can eat um, yeah that'll do wow I can't believe I didn't spot that before let's see what else we're missing then okay there's some more stuff over here a crafting spot and some berries so steel slag chunk over there I don't think we've missed anything else. Anything down rip? There is. Oh, wow. How did I miss all this stuff? 
there's a sculpture, a legendary sculpture. The yeah, there's stuff all over. I like how it's all completely spread out. Um we want to sort of keep this stuff then, so let's quickly grab some of this stuff and stick it back in our base where people can use it. Uh double bed. Somebody can have a double bed in the room. There you go. What else have we got? We've got a sculpture. That'll do. Just put that outside the base. Just there for now. Okay, then that will do then. That will do us. Um, the chest, did we reassign the chest? Oh, we've not reassigned the wooden dresser. That needs to be reassigned to someone. Okay, the ram is angry. Let's put that there. Um, okay, that's coming after you. Is it coming? Who's it coming after? Any all man hunters? Right, you're trying to... Uh, you're trying to run away, which is good. So you keep hunting that one. And this one here. Right, you need to draft up. Fire at that one. Come on. Uh, ooh, we might be in trouble here. Right, come on, gang. We need to uh, come and protect the rest of the uh, the tribe. Is that too far for them to come? It is quite a way for them to come. But, yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. I've gone on far too long. I've gone for 46 minutes. Oh, I've been enjoying this set section of mods so good. Anyway, this is a new Rimworld series. If you do like it and you want to be in it, comment. And uh, I'm just going to basically, whoever comments on the video, you'll get put in the game for these first five. So, get your names in now quick. Anyway. That's it for now. I'm Julia Rocks. This is Rimworld. Thank you for watching. See you next time.